Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be addressing some of the questions prompted by my user on my past videos related with this uh, Lianli SL120 Unifans. Now, for those of you who are actually new here, right, make sure you watch the do's and don'ts about this unit itself. I will leave the uh, link at the top right hand corner. You can actually just click on the top right hand corner or on my description. Now, let's get into it. A big shout out to Adams whom I've actually posted one of the question on my video. And your question is, is it possible for two sets of two fans on the radiator in a push-pull configuration, but using only one input for the controller, which is one input? Now, the answer is yes. Before I show you the uh, cables itself, I believe you're actually using a 240mm radiator whereby you have four um, SL120 fans, you can actually do that. But having to say so, when you do the uh, push-pull configuration, right, you will have two sets of cables. So what Adams is actually trying to ask if he could actually combine the fan connectors and the ARGB connectors into one and to plug to one of the inputs that cater for the fan and for the ARGB. Now, these are the cables that you will need to actually purchase. I'll leave this on my link whereby you can actually purchase this uh, cables here. First cable in fact is actually the Y split fan connectors. Make sure they are PWM and make sure they are four pins. So on one end, in fact, it's actually a female connector. On the other end, which having two similar connectors, these are the male connectors. So leaving on one set of fans, you can actually connect the uh, fan itself to this uh, splitter and the other set do the same and from there right you can connect to the unit not a problem let me just show you let me set to high speed see it's spinning on both sides And same goes to the ARGB. Now let me just take out the fan. Now for the ARGB, same thing. You have this splitter here. This is actually known as the JST 3-pin connectors. Same thing. One end is actually female and the other one end is 2 male. 3-pin. Make sure they are 3-pin. So you can actually connect the first set to one of the uh, male connectors and the other to another splitter. Then from here, right, you're leaving only one connection, you can just straight away plug to one input. See, it works. Besides answering Adam's question, right, in fact, you did a very valuable question. Now, I'm going to talk about it. For those of you doing trying to do the push-pull configuration and just like what Adam is doing, having a 240mm radiator with four fans, this is actually the correct way to actually do the connection itself. And for those of you who actually knew, right, make sure you do not connect more than four fans into one input. There is a limitation on this unit itself, or should I say controller. If you connect more than four, then you might hurt the unit. Because the unit itself has actually mentioned to cater four fans only. Now, back to what Adam has actually mentioned, that I feel that it's actually valuable. Reason being right, for the ARGB, not a problem, even if you do split it and to connect on individual uh, input, it's not a problem. So you can actually control the uh, lightings. But for the fan itself, right, ignore about the ARGB right now. I'm talking about the fans. If you're doing a push-pull configuration, and if you were to have separate, okay, I'm not going to take this out. If you're going to have separate connection, as in like the fan connector on the different input, let's say your input one is actually at RPM 800, and your input two is at RPM 2000. So you'll be having one fan spinning at a higher rate, drawing a lot of air, and the other fan, which is actually running on low RPM, and of course, the high RPM will actually push us or pull the low RPM. 
this in terms will hurt the other um, the lower RPM fan itself so do not do not do this when you're doing push-pull configuration make sure you have only one connection so that through one input itself you are controlling all the fans RPM and based on their temperature another question posted by one of the uh, viewers but I believe he had actually delete the uh, post itself and to answer that question I think it's actually valid now I know that one of my videos I've actually shown you guys that I can actually connect the uh, ARG ARGB strips on this unit itself not a problem now this is safe to do so because so long as your ARGB strip is not longer than 50 cm or I should say half a meter you'll be all right and make sure they are ARGBs and not RGBs. These are actually three, um, three pin connectors which are running on 5 volts. Do take note. Now, his actual question is that he has other ARGB fans that he would like to connect to this unit itself. For ARGB, not a problem. But do take note on the readings that how much the LED is actually taking up. So this is actually rated, if you were to see over here, now, for the unify, for the um, SL120, right, I do know that the uh, rating is in fact 0 0.65 ampere. And over here, right, it's actually stated here LED power drawn is 0 0.2. So it's alright, because it's not 0 0.65. Each fan, I should say. So the unifan itself, right, um, the SL, this fan here, is drawing okay let me just bring closer as you can see here this is 0 0.65 ampere each so if your ARGB fan of other brands is listed as below 0 0.65 no problem you can actually plug but one thing you need to take note if you're plugging that right okay let me show you you can daisy chain take I mean you can daisy chain them. I'm not gonna touch into it. You can actually look at the uh, do's and don'ts. I mean another video that I've actually done on the do's and don'ts. So make sure you do not daisy chain crazily and just plug into a unit. The unit will just burn and blow. And in order for you to plug such pins, right? Because it's actually an ARGB pin, you can't plug directly to the uh, unit itself you need a converter now this is actually what I've actually done myself this can be purchased right it's actually a 3 pin um, ARGB to a female JST uh, 3 pin plug so if you to do this make sure that you you know when you purchase this cable right I'll leave the on the description itself if you want to do so now make sure that the arrow points to the arrow on your fan itself connect it and you can connect see it does work and of course you can control the fan also as in like the ARGB how it runs not an issue see another thing to take note is that do not connect the fan um, this is where it actually spin your fan itself do not connect the fan connector on this unit itself because this is actually collab um this is actually in sync or should i say program for the sl120 and not for other fans so they might have different they might have different rpms and different um, load so never never to connect other brand fans fan connector on this unit it's a no-go Okay, it's either you spoil the unit or you spoil your fan. So don't ever do that. There you have it. I hope I did answer your question, Adam West. And I hope the rest understand what I'm trying to show. If you do like my channel and the way that I explain things, kindly subscribe to my channel and to click on the notification button. And I'd like to take this opportunity to actually thank all the viewers out there and to all my subscribers for all your questions and your comments that you encourage me to actually do more videos, taking bits and pieces. Thank you very much. Take care. Goodbye. See ya.